We can look at pre-cut in the tape for our patient. We can actually buy pre-cut tape, but what I like to do is individualize the tape for each patient because I look after rowers who are six foot nine and rowers who are four foot nine. So I like to individualize the tape for them. So first of all, if I show you a piece of kinesiology tape and if I turn it over, you'll notice it's got some squares. So first of all, we're going to prepare what's known as an eye strip. And I'm going to use six squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And if I just literally cut that along its line, and that would be a standard eye strip. What I need to do is to round off the ends to stop it from lifting. So if I just round off each of the ends, because you tend to leave a tape on for between three and five days, if you've got a corner, it tends to to cause a lifting effect. So that's one standard eye strip, that's six square. Now we're gonna do a smaller eye strip. And the way we can do this one, I tend to use three squares, but it takes time to prepare each part. So if I cut this into six, and I fold it in half, and literally just round the center part, then we have two standard eye strips present. And again, I can round off one of them, and that's now a standard small eye strip. You'll notice that it's three squares. In some of the videos, I might be using two and a half, so you just make it a bit smaller. Next, we're gonna prepare a Y strip, and I'm gonna do a five square Y strip. So one, two, three, four, five. For most of the videos, this is roughly the the standard size I use. So round the ends. And you'll notice that's just a standard eye strip. Now if you cut down the center, you can either use the line if you want to, or you can literally just trim down the center. And how far do you cut? You cut down to the first square. So I've just cut just to the line. And then the ends are square, so you just want to round them as well, otherwise they will lift. And there we have a Y strip, like so. And the last one I'm going to prepare is a fan. So I'm going to prepare, prepare a fan with four squares. So one, two, three, four. This is for edema. And we tend to use two of these at the same time. And again, round the ends. I'm just going to show you cutting four fingers, but in my videos I show you with five, but you just have to cut one more. So literally just roughly take the equal measurement, and again you cut down until the first line. It's important to use sharp scissors. And if you want to, you can round off ends as well. So that would be a fan strip, a Y strip, a smaller I strip, and a standard size I strip. More instructional videos by John Gibbons can be viewed on his YouTube channel and visit the Bodymaster website for further information about the Bodymaster method. Here you will also find information about courses John runs and books he's written, which are available to purchase through Amazon.